well, this is the true screen device and it releases from its tip some uh, light wavelengths and some electrical frequencies. And those frequencies and wavelengths challenge the cells of the surface of the cervix. So the cervical cells are being pulsed from the tip of the true screen probe and it is moved around the cervix and the computer in the true screen device reads the response of those cells on the surface of the cervix to that biophysical challenge. It reads that response and it is fed with an algorithm that allows it to differentiate the response of a normal cell from a pre-cancer cell from a cancer cell. And having worked your way around the cervix and then waited literally a couple of seconds, we get a result on the LED screen, normal or abnormal. And that result will be as accurate as a pap smear done in a, teaching, in a teaching hospital setting using advanced first world technologies. Since we've been using the new uh, true screen device, there is no doubt that the current device, which has been completely reformatted from the earlier technology, still performs as well as for example, a liquid-based cytology sample in a teaching hospital setting. So it will behave as well as what has been until now and still remains worldwide the gold standard, which is cytology, but it behaves as well as liquid-based cytology in a teaching hospital setting.